Hi viewers, today I'm going to cut this piece of uh, cubic zirconia and uh, I'm going to cut a round shape and this is a pretty good, it, it actually might be better to cut this in a square but uh, I'm going to do it in a round. Yeah, I'm going to do some preforming on this. and. Uh, I'm going to go to the cab mach cabbing machine to do the preforming. It's a pretty nice piece here, so uh, let me show you what uh, I plan on doing. This is the Whirlpool round design. And I'm going to cut that. And these angles are for CZ, the refractive index of cubic zirconia CZ is 2.16. So that's what this uh, diagram is meant for cutting CZ. Not and so it's going, should make a very nice, brilliant piece when I get done. There's lots of facets, 225. And there's some, uh, a few cutting notes here, to, a few guide guidelines here to help me through. So, all right, I'll start preforming this, and uh, I'll get started on that. Okay, I've got this uh, rounded halfway, and I preformed it a little bit, and I can get it dopped up. Let's see what this thing weighs first. One hundred and eighty point five carats. Let's see what the grams. Thirty six grams. I'm going to use wax to dop it. Okay, I've got the stone dop with using wax. So I'll get started on it and start rounding the stone first. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I've got the facets cut with the 100 and the 260. Then I'm going to go on up to 600 writ lap with this. But uh, looks like I've got an imperfection in this stone. It's just uh, an inclusion right at the surface, right in here. So uh, I don't know what this is going to do to me. Maybe I can cut through it. But... We'll see. We'll have to see what happens. There is something right there in that area under the surface. Okay, I've cut up to 1200 grit on the girdle and this is as far as I'll go now 
and I'll start cutting the pavilion facets next. I had to add my own splash pan here, to splash guard I guess you would call it, to uh, try to contain the water splashing. It helps a lot, but I can't use it when I cut girdles. All right, I'm moving on to step number one of the, fat, the pavilion facets. This is what we look like so far. Now I've got all the facets cut and I've worked from the 1200 lap all the way through every tier and uh, I'm working with the 3000 grit lap now. I still have uh, to make the meats come together and uh, once I work all the way through all seven tiers I will uh, use the 8000 grit lap after that I can polish. Okay, all facets are cut and pre-polished. And next I will use the bat lap and a 50,000 diamond compound and I'll start polishing. Okay, the uh, pavilion is fully polished and I will take the stone off the dock and transfer, do the stone transfers, that's next. I'm ready to start cutting the crown and I'll start on tier one, 29.6 degrees. I'm using the 260 grit lap. Okay, I'm getting the, uh, these facets down close to the girdle and I've got to start thinking about what size I'm going to make this girdle. I think I'm going for a fairly thin girdle on this one. So soon I will change to the 600 grit lap and cut them all again. First row of facets are cut. I've used the 1200 lap. My girdle is sized to where I want the thickness to be. 
So I'll move on to the next tier of facets. Okay, I'm working with the 3000 lap. Working my way on up through all the tiers. can already tell this is going to be so brilliant. This is going to look like a diamond. Okay, I'm polishing with 50,000 diamond. Okay, the stone is finished. Okay, let's get this off the top and see what it looks like. Okay, there we have it. Plenty brilliant. And let's see what this thing weighs. Fifty eight carats. <laughs> 